This game began a bit differently than most for Sunapee, after Katie Frederick won the opening tip-off for the Lakers. Both teams were actually held scoreless during the first two minutes of play, but soon Mary Grazana managed to steal the ball away from a scenic Shelby Babbitt. Mary dribbled up the court and found Sydney Clark, who then drove to the basket and scored the game's first two points. But after multiple turnovers, Babin was able to mail a three-pointer from the wing. This gave the Vikings an early one-point advantage over Sunapee, who isn't used to playing without the lead. But the Lakers clearly weren't worried, and they turned up their play when Faith Larpenter grabbed a rebound and made a one-handed full-court pass to Katie Frederick, who easily laid the ball in, fighting through contact for the and-one score. During the rest of the half, Clark, Frederick, Larpender, Grazana, Jess Parsons, and Hannah Cooney all contributed in big ways, both on offense and defense. This led to a whopping 41-point lead at halftime, with a score of 47-6. In the second half, most of Sunapee's starters took a seat, as they needed rest for their back-to-back -back game the following day. This allowed Messinic to actually outscore the Lakers in the second half, 23-18 with a big third quarter. But Sunapee had put the Vikings in too big of a hole to climb out of, as the Lakers went on to win by a final score of 65-29. Sidney Clark scored a game-high 23 points, while Katie Frederick put in 11, Larpenter scored 9, and Jess Parsons added 8. After the game, we caught up with Sunapee's head coach, as well as Cooney and Clark to get their thoughts on the game. Yeah, so I think in the first half and second half were, you know, complete opposites. I was really happy with our pressure in the first half um, and how it you know, translated into fast break opportunities. You know, we didn't really get into a, any half-court offense really because our, our pressure allowed for a lot of those fast break opportunities. In the second half, things got sloppy in the third quarter. We've been in a lot of situations like this this year, and sometimes it gets hard to find ways to keep yourself motivated when the game is already already over pretty much. But I thought in the fourth quarter, those guys that came in in the fourth quarter, we put a zone in. We don't really ever play zone, and um, they did a great job kind of cutting off those driving lanes and, and, and getting something positive out of it. So, I mean, you got to give some credit to Messina. They came out in the second half and were ready to compete. You know, we really weren't. You know, we want to just kind of get over with, unfortunately. So a lot of credit to them. New coach doing a lot of good things. We also asked Coach Latora about his team's 62nd straight victory and how the girls have been able to be so successful over the past two seasons. So that's not something we have, uh, we've ever talked about as a group. I, I'm from Connecticut and of course a huge UConn fan. So in my head, I'm like, oh, UConn women, not even close though. But a lot of it's because of them, you know, the kids. They find ways to um, maintain their focus look at the bigger picture of things, find ways to get something out of each game. Each game is an opportunity to play, you know, for these, especially for these older guys, they know that uh, those opportunities are be becoming less and less, you know, so over the years we've talked about how many games we have left to play, you know, and, and they've kind of kept that in their heads. They hold each other accountable for working hard. You know, that's, that started, you know, even before I was coaching here, you know, with Coach Keo and the, what he did with those girls. And, uh, you know, some of these guys coming in as eighth graders and the upperclassmen kind of bringing them in and showing them what it means to really work hard and, and it's kind of snowballed. So, you know, I'm just trying to lead the troop with these guys that are the ones making it happen. Tonight we uh, had a lot of different groups going in. Like it wasn't just our starters playing a lot. Um, we changed it up a lot. We passed a lot and we've been working really hard in our defense and um, it kind of showed tonight like our closeouts. We've been struggling and they looked a we looked a lot better tonight, and um, our breakaways, we got a lot of points on, so that also helped us a lot. Definitely Katie Fred, she always works hard, and she always gets good rebounds and scores a lot of our points. And uh, Mary Grazana, I saw a lot out of her. She got a lot of points. She also works hard, and Sid Clark got a, a lot of breakaways and steals, which really showed, in, especially that last quarter. We definitely need to improve on our defense. Um, our offense, we have a ton of plays that we usually get a lot of points off of. We have some things to work on on defense, like transitioning, but um, it's already getting better, and you can, you've seen it throughout the season, so we just keep working on that. We'll be good. Well, I think what we did was we, I think we distributed the ball well. Um, we always, I think, I think we tend to do that a lot in our team. Like, it's never just really one person. Like, we're always, like, Especially me, I, I'm not really a fan of scoring, honestly. I like to give the ball to other people just to see them be successful. But um, 
Yeah, at the end, actually, when we played zone, we did something completely different. We don't normally play zone, and um, yeah, it seemed to work. We kept them out of the middle, and that's what they were doing at the beginning of the game was driving, and that's we kind of stopped them there. So I think Katie played pretty well. She's always a solid uh, post player down there. She's always like our backbone of support down there. Same with Faith and Mary. I don't know, I think overall everyone played pretty well. So we all, I don't know, it's never just one person. Like we all need each other to, to be successful. So that's, what, that's what's nice about our team. Definitely defense. Usually that's like our, that's our strength is defense. But for some reason lately and maybe this whole season basically has is, is been our defense. It's, that's been our weakness. But we can definitely work on our closeouts and keep them from like shooting the outside shots. That's what's been happening. Sunapee senior guard Faith Larpender recently scored her 1,000th point when she hit a three-pointer against Wilton Lindenborough. We caught up with Faith to get her thoughts on reaching this milestone. It feels really, not, it feels like great and I couldn't, I really couldn't have done it without the support and the help of my teammates. Just them being there all the time and wanting others to succeed. We've had a lot of individual success which is based off of our team success which I think is great and we, we're always happy and upbeat for everyone who has an individual success. So I think we just have such good chemistry together and we hang out we're together all the time. A lot of us play three sports in a row together and we've been with each other since we were little, like playing rec ball. And so I think that really has helped us in that way, like keep winning because we know each other's strengths and weaknesses and what we can go to for that. Messenic fell to five and six, while Sunapi improved to 12 and zero. The Vikings will next face off against Concord Christian, while the Lakers will take on Newt. Okay.